Hi there, welcome to Just Push Play. Today we'll be talking about that. <laughs> Who can say where? I lose more hats that way, but I can be king of the hats. Hey, come on! Here. Just in time for Mortal Kombat 11. The Raiden moves. So, what? where's your money? <laughs> exactly. So, this really feels like the Montreal's version of King of the Hat. Or King, sorry, Smash King. Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm even confusing myself. Yeah. Um, this is a really fun game. I yeah. can imagine it being total chaos with, with four people. With four people, yeah. I mean, we played with one person on their own. Nick was trying that out. Then two people. Now we have people. to... And each of the characters, as you said, they all have different personalities and different well, ways of playing. I wouldn't say different personalities. Yeah. I'd say more different styles of play. You have one character who can only hop around. Yeah. So you need to person. mash the, uh, the stick. Plus there's like a laundry machine. He throws clothes. It's hamper at people. And the way and the way people throw their hats are all different. Exactly. Captain Hat is quite amusing. Reminds me of Captain Crunch, and uh, he gets really angry if he loses his hat. But it's like, why are you throwing your hat if you get angry because you're throwing your hat? Why? There's also an online mode too. Yeah, we couldn't find anyone else playing, which is really weird. I guess Discord doesn't have a lot of people that had this game. I don't know. Yeah, but like that. Through Steam, we find maybe like three people. But here's the thing. Uh, this uh, is a. It could also be the Wi-Fi here. But think yeah, about that's it. True. It's a. It's on Discord instead of Steam or even Epic Games. Mm -hmm. So this is the starting. This is Discord starting out, branching out. This is actually our first uh, Just Push Play on this game. On, on, on Discord. On Discord games. Yeah. But imagine all the cool implementations they could have with this. Mm -hmm. I think they've added a lot more characters when they. I think they first had a demo. I don't remember how many characters. Maybe two or four. But the roster's really. Uh, Evolved since then, but yeah, it's really neat to see all the characters. Like each character feels different and plays differently, um, and like it's each of the stages seem unique too, which is really nice to see. So, yeah, I just I can't wait to see like this game released on Steam and I sort of getting greater notice out there because I feel like if I didn't know that this game was made in Montreal, I don't think I would know about it so much, like if I didn't do that extra research, because I don't really see it in the news very often, unfortunately, not yet, so... Yeah, I think at this point, um, the only way that you're going to get more people to play with you is if, like, if you get a lot of your Offline. Discord, if you got a lot of Discord friends, or like even joining, because I think uh, this has a Discord channel where you can just go in and... Mm -hmm. And meet people that have the game as well. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's definitely really cool. I can't wait to see if they're going to add more characters or more stages or where they're going. I haven't read about it. Or even add new features. Yeah. I mean, like imagine like a hat toss contest. Yeah, or something like that. That would be neat. Or like a Mario Party. Something like that. Yeah. I was so, thinking more like the multi man melee thing or like the mm. home run contest. Yeah, like some sort of like mini games. But no, what's there is really cool and you know, it seems like they're going in the right direction because uh, I definitely, graphics wise, like it's not going to blow you away with the graphics, but I find it's really unique. But the actual gameplay is a lot of fun. I find it pretty addictive. Yep. Yeah, I definitely give it at least an 8 out of 10, maybe 8.5. Uh, I yeah. give it a... That was fun. I give it like an 8 out of 5. Out yeah, of 10. I, I can see it being a lot more fun with 3 or 4 people. Just going after Nick, like our matches in in like three minutes yeah. or less. So, so it, it like, would definitely be more fun if it was like yeah, four people. Yeah, if we have more people playing. I, I get, it goes without saying, maybe add like AI opponents. Or eight players. Yeah. 16 AI's, players, I go one play step beyond. 32 players. 64 players. Take it to players. the next level. And then it becomes an MMO fighting game. <laughs> Why haven't anyone did that? Like an MMO fighting game. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, Nick, I'm expecting you to make that. <laughs> I'm gonna make a jam, expecting yeah. people to make it for me. <laughs> you'll, you'll throw the five dollars out. Come on, guys! Come on! Here comes the money! <laughs> I'll throw my hat into it. I'm gonna commission people to make me this game, <laughs> and then you put your name on it. 
I will support you on Patreon <laughs> to, so, so that you can make my game. Yeah. Anyways. Because I am shit at programming. <laughs> Keep your hats on. And hats a wrap. Lose your life. All right. Hats a wrap. Keep on people. gaming. Hats a wrappers. <laughs>